I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, in this episode, we are going to look at a Wii controller. I have a subscriber, it doesn't live too far from me, so he brought this over to my house and he says, can I fix it? I said, well, I'll take a good look at it. Apparently this A button doesn't want to work. So, let's give it a try. Cover off, obviously get the batteries out of there. Oh boy, those are some special screws. Yes, they are. It looks like a three-sided bit. What do I have that'll fit? Well, look at here. I have a fancy, what do they call it? Specialty bit set. And it's got a lot of weird bits in here. And it's got a lot of weird bits in it. And you just never know when you're going to need a set like this. So, boy, if you come across something like that, buy it. Because it's got some really weird bits in there. And what we are after is this three-sided, well, we say a three-sided Phillips. Oh, that'll fit. That one's deep, so I'm going to have to get something else in there. Right, let's get this in a little container. Oh, yeah, that'll work. So I got a, a fairly fine screwdriver. There we go. Well, it's loose. Okay, let's get that other one loose. So it was tough, but I got a little tiny flat-headed screwdriver way down in there. My specialty bits aren't skinny enough to go that deep. Okay, that's... So we root four screws and there's still a little snap here. So... Take your plastic screwdriver. Yes, I can kind of see it here. There you go, those two. Looks like those buggers were glued in. That's why they were so tight. snap to it. Snappy snappy. Okay, so snappy snappy we got it off. Well everything's a little finicky here. Where did this come from? Oh right here. That's your sound I guess. Or lights. Okay. Here is another good scan of it. Now I have to remove these buttons to find out why that A button isn't working. Let's get everything in its place. I'll just look up, look at it upside down. Yeah, everything looks normal. Okay. So, 
Does this come off? Yes, it does. That come off? Yes, it does. And does this come off? Yes, it does. So, let's see here. I'm just going to I'm just going to lightly clean these surfaces. This this is just circuit board stuff. Not much I can do. It's not even a moving part. And I'll clean these surfaces. What's underneath here? That's that little side guy there. We'd like to get this out. There we go. Now let's let this out. It's just snapped in, but. Since we have this all apart, let's clean all these surfaces. Yeah. Pretty small stuff, isn't it? Okay, let's get some. Okay, so I just used some um, head cleaner from the good old days of working on cassettes. Eight tracks. Pretty safe for your stuff. And I get a little. Yeah. Three or four drops. Oh, Q tip. And let's clean that. This stuff evaporates pretty fast, but yeah, let's put that little little part back on. Roll this little geel sink back into place. tucked up there we go okay we're done the underneath so actually let's put this back here ready to be contacted Yeah, see the rest have little clicker switches. Yeah, actually, let's get this back in the body here. I don't have to worry about that little motor coming out of place. Put this upside down. Push this where it should go. While we're in here, clean that inside of that sensor, the infrared, clean the inside of it. There we go, pushes in pretty nice there. There we got that. 
Yes. Okay, let's clean the rest of this stuff here. Actually, let's put in a fresh batch. Funny how that would fail, but electronics for you. Okay, let's clean these pads. Even though only the A was sticking, let's clean everything while we got it apart. Nice, simple fix, we hope. That's where it sits, so let's put this here, because we know it's got to go like that. And then... Put all these back here where they kind of go. Oop. <laughs> there you are. Okay, so we are ready to throw this back onto that. There's not much I could do. Just some clean some some contacts. Okay, so we got all of these switches in here, ready to go. So I'm going to have to pop this onto it, because I don't want these switches to move for these buttons. Snappy, snappy, there we go. I'm going to hold it tight until I can get these little tiny screws in the right spot. as tight as I can get it. Put the batteries back in. Put the cover on and I don't have the controller here so let's see what the good news will be is. I'll let you know what happens tomorrow.